Well, a very good day, YouTubers. And you join me as I make my way to a place which I visited in season nine of Travels by Narrowboat uh, for diesel and coal. And I'm going there because King's Orchard, as well as having a marina, also has a campsite. Now, once I get there, and after I've set up camp, not only am I going to introduce the bike, I'm also going to show you the various bits of camping equipment and photography equipment that I'll be taking. And of course, we'll have a little look around the King's Orchard Marina camping and caravan site. In the meantime, I'm heading out of Litchfield and towards Huddlesford. Incredible side wind. Ooh. These roads are getting worse. And just here on the left, King's Orchard Marina. Yes indeed, I am at King's Orchard Marina Caravan and Campsite. But before I get into this video, just a quick recap in case anyone's missed what it is I'm going to be doing uh, very shortly. Uh, and that is that I'm going to be riding a motorbike uh, across six Scottish islands, which will be Arran onto Kintyre, which isn't really an island, uh, Mull, uh, Skye, then that's Harris, 
and then across to Oolapool uh, on the mainland, across the north of Scotland, and then onto Orkney and Shetland. So that's six Scottish islands uh, and nine separate ferry journeys I'll be undertaking, not including the two return journeys from Shetland and Orkney, which I won't be filming. And of course, to do all that, I need a motorbike. And this is the bike. It's a 2008 BMW R1200 GS Adventure, putting out 103 horsepower and 85 foot-pounds of torque. It features an 1170cc four valves per cylinder, horizontally opposed, flat twin engine, mated to a six-speed gearbox with power sent to the rear wheel by a maintenance-free shaft drive. At the rear is the well-proven BMW Paralever suspension, and at the front, the equally excellent BMW Telelever suspension, both of which provide a ride quality and road holding that, in my opinion, you won't find on any other bike. Braking's taken care of at the front by two four-piston calipers gripping dual discs, and at the rear, a two-piston caliper operating a single disc. Fuel tank capacity is 33 litres, which means the bike can easily achieve 300 miles before you even start thinking about finding a petrol station. I've replaced the standard seat with this Wunderlich Comfort version. Also included is this original BMW aluminium hard luggage. And there we have it, the BMW R1200 GS Adventure, a bike which I like to call the Swiss Army knife of motorcycles. Try saying that after a few glasses of Bordeaux. Hi, I'm Kevin Shelley, and as I like to say, you'd have to go a long way to beat a great British camping holiday. At Kings Orchard Marina Caravan and Campsite, you'll find everything you need to ensure your stay is an enjoyable one. Including spacious level caravan pitches featuring electricity and their own water point. For those who can't afford a caravan, there's level firm grass areas to pitch your tent. You'll also find excellent shower and toilet facilities. At the end of the day, what could be better than a nice shower? There's also a washing area with hot and cold water for all your pots and pans. So when you're planning your next holiday, Set your sat nav for King's Orchard Marina Caravan and Campsite. Cheers! Ugh, it's gone cold. <laughs> Equipment wise, for this trip, I'm uh, keeping it nice and light. Nothing, uh, nothing spurious unnecessary. I have a backpack for when I go walking into all those lovely little villages and buy local produce. Well, hopefully. Uh, a few food things. Kitchen utensils. Just knife and fork and stuff like that. And a corkscrew. Uh, plate and dish and cup. Chopping board, camping stove, and a billy can. And on this side, I'm keeping it light as well. Nothing uh, untoward, nothing that I won't need. Uh, towel. 
these are these fitted bags are amazing no putting loose stuff in your pannier you can just fill the bag up and put that in and then you, if you need to you can just take the whole bag out got uh, different gloves in case uh, should get caught in a heat wave <laughs> lining for my motorcycle trousers and jacket toiletry bag thermals I have the bottoms on at the moment uh, but a top as well spare pairs of uh, underpants and socks and uh, four t-shirts and two pairs of uh, sort of lightweight outdoor trousers which also zip off the uh, legs to make a pair of shorts and a woolly hat and uh, a crag hoppers thermal lightweight top it's superb also for my main camping equipment such as tent and sleeping bag I have this Oxford products aqua 70 litre dry bag uh, but more about the camping equipment a bit later in this video also at the front is this BMW tank bag especially made for this model and in here I keep various things which I want to keep close to me and be able to take off uh, if I need to for obvious reasons um, I have in here sat nav which I'll put on in a minute got my radio mic part of which I'm using at the moment uh, spare glasses sunglasses Kindle a torch my very faithful old Garmin GPS if the phone GPS was to fail and the bike GPS this would get me out of trouble anywhere uh, it has such a good antenna and reception it'll even pick up satellites indoors I didn't think there were satellites indoors and this is a sat nav I'll be using it's a TomTom Tom Rider 550 and this has taken me on countless uh, motorcycle adventures and has a very neat feature where you can specify a twisty course in varying levels of hilliness and twistiness and this has taken me places I never knew existed as far as the tent goes I'm going to be taking a tent which I've owned for quite a few years probably about 10 years now and has taken me and looked after me on countless motorcycle adventures it's a Van Gogh Banshee 200 Pro which the literature laughingly refers to as a two-man tent it's frequently and incorrectly referred to as a coffin tent uh, which it isn't a coffin tent is quite simply a long tunnel of fabric which you lie in like a coffin and it's intended for nothing more than sleeping uh, this has a little bit of extra room not a huge amount inside I have a Berghaus three season sleeping bag a Thermarest inflatable mattress which despite being thin is extremely comfortable and insulated so that none of the cold in the ground comes up during the night and a small foldable pillow I'll also be taking this excellent lightweight camping chair it's extremely difficult to find a camping chair that's both lightweight, small, yet doesn't break after two or three uses. I also have this big blue 28 watt solar charger this is the model with the three USB ports and this will easily put a decent charge into a smartphone even on a cloudy day like this last but not least there's the various bits of camera equipment I'm going to be taking and the main camera for when riding along is this Cena 50C helmet camera complete with a boom mic I have a GoPro Hero 7 mounted to a small rig clamp 
Uh, this will be pointing towards me and also I can move it about so I can get some shots you know, left and right while we're traveling. My main video camera is going to be my smartphone. And that's the camera I've been using to film this video. Audio is through my DJI wireless mic. The receiver plugs directly into the USB-C socket of the smartphone. And the microphone is attached with a magnet to my clothing. This will be the first time for me that I've ever filmed an entire series using a smartphone. Normally I have my Canon video camera, but it's just too big and unchargeable on the road because it's charged by 240 volt. Um, so yeah, as I say, this is the first time ever. Um, of course, I'll be filming the riding you know, with the helmet cam and the GoPro, but the rest of the videos will be done with the smartphone. So uh, no pressure. And finally, finally, we come to the very real problem of backing up uh, large files when you're out on the road. Um, believe it or not, there are no pre-made solutions for backing up videos and so on for the traveling photographer or filmographer. Um, it's taken me the best part of four years on and off of research, thinking and planning to come up with this final solution, which um, I think, well, I've already tested it and it works extremely well. It's a Dell 7212 Windows Rugged Tablet. And for storage, I'm using these very small uh, USB-C powered uh, solid state drives. They're Samsung T7 Shields. Uh, each of those is two gigabyte. Uh, obviously I need two copies of my video files. If one of the drives was to pack up, I'd lose everything, wouldn't I? Well, that is it. I'm all set and ready to go. Weather's looking good. So I'm thinking in the next week, uh, I'll, I'll be off. The way it's gonna work um, is it's not possible for me to edit all of this while I'm on the road. Other YouTube channels, you know, the, the largest ones uh, that do motorcycle travel, they have editors. They essentially upload all their footage each day or week to the cloud and their editor puts it all together for them. I don't have that luxury, nor that I'd want to. Um, they wouldn't, if, I, if someone else edited my videos, they, they wouldn't be my videos. They wouldn't be done with my own recognizable style. <laughs> so yeah, what I will be doing, however, is uploading um, shorts you know, throughout my journey, just little snippets uh, a short on YouTube is anything a minute or less. So just little snippets of it could be anything. Um, and I'll be doing, I'll be uploading those every what day, two days, three days. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Um, but until then, um, yeah, look after yourselves, have fun. And I'll see you, what, in about a month's time with, yeah, the first motorcycle road trip around Scotland, the Scottish islands, I mean. My word, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a blast, I think. But uh, yeah, cheers for now. <laughs>